Well, the second Martin of the season. This one's in a more traditional wooden box. Um, again, it's just got a muskrat pushed back into the back of it for bait. I got a little bit of lure right here, which is uh, some of that predator lure that we made earlier in the season, or before the season. It's a uh, hamburger and a couple eggs, a little bit of beaver caster. Uh, I think I added a small amount of sardine can oil and a couple of drops of skunk to it. So, yeah, he's, a, he's another really pretty one. He doesn't have quite as much orange on his chest as the other one did. But, Martin number two. I still have more traps to check. With a little bit of luck, I'll have some more. This is the same, <clears throat> same draw I caught that last one with, though, out of, though. So, I'm going to leave them for one more trap check and pull these traps out because I don't want to take out too many here. There's always other trappers in the woods. Um, when they're elevated like this, you usually catch mainly the males. And I definitely want to leave the females. If your boxes are on the ground, <clears throat> you end up catching mainly females. Why, I have no idea. But that's the way it works. Here's another quick and easy set. It's just a coffee can that's got a uh, hole punched in the bottom so I can wire a muskrat up underneath inside of it. Uh, the, <clears throat> the trap itself, it's just sitting on some nails here. Um, just sits there, balances on there, and of course I got it wired off to the stick and the Martin would just swing free. So you can use all sorts of different things for Martin boxes. I've used uh, plastic coffee cans too. I like the metal ones better, but uh, just about anything. I mean, it doesn't take much. Boxes are time consuming to build, but they last a good long time if you don't have to bring them in every year. This is what I've been using for trapping these pine martin. I've got a handful of muskrats in here. Beaver works better. I got some beaver at the house. I keep forgetting to grab it. But in this little backpack, I got a bunch of cardboard and tin foil and a bunch of traps down in there. Uh, everything's compact, lightweight. I can put out probably a dozen martin boxes doing it this way versus the wood ones in no time at all. And uh, because I don't always trap in the same place year after year, this spot, it's been pretty good. I really should come up here and put out some permanent boxes because it's, it's been one of my better places. I've caught quite a few Martin out of this spot. A few days ago when I was setting out some uh, Pine Martin traps, I mentioned that uh, I heard a wolf howl, that one I found the tracks from. And... Uh, I howled back at it, and he answered me several times. Uh, I had a couple of people ask me, well, just what did you, what did it sound like, and how did you do it? And it's, I mean, it's nothing. It's just a, just a long, drawn-out woo like that. Uh, there are commercial wolf calls that are howl calls, and uh, this is one of them. There's several different makers of these, but... This is the one I've got. Um, they sound pretty good, but it I haven't had a lot of luck with them howl, or howling back. Uh, that one was the first time I've got them to actually answer me. But a place like this, I don't know. you got a big open area. The, tra the sound is going to go a long ways. Uh, a spot like this, it sure doesn't hurt to, to stop and try it a couple of times. If you get them to answer you, then you have an idea that they're there and where they might be. Um, you feel kind of silly. <laughs> but what the heck, if it if it works, it works. I know several people that have called them in this way and it, they've gotten their wolf. So, I don't know. It's Like I say, you feel silly doing it, but if, if I didn't have 
I didn't have my call along the other day. I was setting those traps, so I just used my voice, and it actually worked. He didn't come in, but he answered me. So, anyway, this is what this call sounds like. Which is pretty good, really. It sounds a lot better than my voice does. But this is, like I said, I didn't have my call along, so all I did is go. <laughs> and surprisingly, he answered. Since they let the wolves loose in 1995, I've only seen them twice. They're extremely wary and hard to find. They're the hardest thing I've ever tried to hunt. I've only trapped the one, but uh, they're up here. There's not maybe as many as there was a few years ago, but they're here. So, anyway, I'm going to shut this off and try this call a couple more times, see if anything will answer. and head on back home.